Today, I'm going to be sharing the secret on how to get rich in Madden 22 right now. Everybody's always asking me for different types of coin making methods, but today I'm going to share with you guys how I've actually made a lot of my coins recently and actual proof that I do take some of these steps as well. So the first thing that we're going to be going over here is in sets and it's going to be under team affinity. It's going to be under team builders and it's going to be team builders one. This method has literally worked all year long and currently right now it's super effective as well. A lot of these team builder one cards have cards that have gotten upgrades so you need these team builder one cards to go into their power-ups i'm just gonna go over a list of ones that i've been doing a lot recently i've been doing david njoku because he has that gridiron gauntlet i think it's called card that everybody can get for free i've been doing justin herbert because he has a team of the year card i've been doing cd lamb a little bit too not as frequent as the other guys i've been doing debo samuel because of his limited team of the year card i've been doing matt paradise because i think he has a new upgrade as well i've been doing cam newton because he has a combine card i think it is i've been doing deshaun jackson as well and then last but not least, I've been doing Anthony Barr as well. Now, what you guys might be thinking right now is, okay, these cards hardly sell for anything, so how are you actually able to make a lot of profit off of this? Let me just show you guys how to actually build this set, and then I'm gonna explain how I've been doing it to just maximize it to the absolute max. So, it's fairly simple. All we need to do is grab three high golds and three 80 to 82 elites. You can easily grab these golds for 500 a piece and under, and that's really all I do. So, we just picked up that first gold for 450 coins. We got another gold right here for 100 coins so just like that we've spent 550 coins and then right here we'll just pick up another running back right here why not so and just like that we spent 1000 coins on just golds alone we then got to go over to the elites and i would recommend you guys get these elites for anything under 1150 and just like that on a second refresh we get one for 1050 another one right here for 1100 another one for 1100 right here so adding up all the total of those cards that we just bought that's a total of 4000 250 coins and then basically we just got to go back over to the team affinity one set and to complete this but don't worry boys i got a way better process of doing this to the point where you can complete more meaning you'll make more coins over time i guess just for example in this video we'll do the cam newton set so just like that we completed the cam newton set by putting those cards in the set obviously and right here as we click to go ahead and auction cam newton you guys can see these cards sell for about 10k after tax we'll call it 9k and then after all the coins that we spent on the set we'll be making 5,000 coins profit every single time we do this. But obviously, you're not going to be making tons of coins fast because it really takes like three to four minutes to be able to complete a set that goes for 5k. But what I do is I buy a mass amount of these high golds and a mass amount of these low elites, which leads to me being able to complete the set a lot of times in a row and then mass auctioning them onto the block. You can also do this on the Madden Companion app and you can also sell cards on the Madden Companion app. The only thing that you can't do is actually do the set. But yeah, just for proof for you guys that I actually do this and I've been doing it a lot recently. As we go to newest right here, you guys are going to see there's Team Builder, Cam Newton, Cam Newton, Cam Newton, Jenkins, Jackson, Matt, David, Justin Herbert. Most of these guys are going for about 10k, but sometimes the days and like depending on what time you're posting them, they sometimes do go for under that, but you're still going to make like 3k. And then obviously sometimes they sell for 15k, sometimes they sell for 12k. So yeah, this is just a great way to be making coins in the background while you're doing other methods that I'm going to share with you guys right now. Now doing those Team Builder 1 sets is kind of like a passive income stream. So now we're going to kind of go over the ways that you can make coins uh, by actually like being active. The first one that I want to share is kind of one that's like really, really slept on. It is really just playing head to head seasons. You can make coins playing head to head seasons. I don't know why people don't do it more, but you can get free packs. You can get a lot of coins as long as you're pretty decent at the game. You can make a lot of coins from this, but I know some people don't have that great of teams. So we're not going to really touch on that too much. Just like don't underestimate head to head. You can still make coins off of that. Yeah, the other things that you can do right here are complete a lot of sets. You can find very profitable sets and maybe like 50k to 100k each time you do a set but if i shared one of the sets the method would probably stop working once i upload the video because a lot of people start doing it but one of the keys methods that you can do right now are the team of the year sets i'm not going to complete it in this video but there are a lot of these cards that you can actually find that sell for about 150k and you can end up completing the set for about 125k I shoot to get my 87s for around 5k. I shoot to get my 389s for about a little bit above 10k, around 11k. I shoot to get my 91s at about like 20k. I to get my 93 for a little bit of a snipe. It's easiest to get it around like 35 to 37k, but I try to get it for 30k because this is where you can kind of make a little bit more coins. And yeah, that'll range from about 120k to about 125k. If you get even more snipes, it'll be even less. But yeah, if you could find one of these cards that sell for 150k, this is a great way of making coins right now as well and then just one final tip that i can give you guys when actually going ahead and making coins is going over your challenges there's 
so many challenges that you can do for free players, for free coins, for free XP. All of that adds up over time. If you guys need to get just some free stuff done, this is a great place to do it. I'm already level 50, so I'm not trying to do too many of these newer solos, just so if there's another season that comes out, I can grind XP with these. But yeah, if you guys aren't max mutt level, this is a great way to take advantage because leveling up makes you a lot of coins as well. So yeah, that's a passive way with the team builders and then active ways with the methods I just showed you guys. But how do you actually get super rich? This is something I haven't really mastered myself, but it's definitely going to be investing your coins to try to make more in the future. Now, as of right now, I'm not going to really give you guys player investments to invest in because that's just not really my bag. But what you can do and what I'm going to probably do here in the near future is invest in training. Now, as we know, the Easter promo is soon going to be teased and come out. I'm really not sure when, but it could be very anytime in the near future. It might even be teased by the time that this video is out. But what usually happens is training goes up in value. The reason it goes up in value is because you can change training into alternate currency and then alter currency into Easter eggs. Easter eggs are very similar to presents from the Christmas promo, just for the Easter promo. So what you can do if you've got a lot of coins is you can try to invest in training. And the best way of doing that is by getting these probably I think 96 overall Madden machine cards. I don't really know what the best price for these is. I'd probably try to snipe them for around 95k and under probably. But yeah, basically if you want to invest, you could probably get them all the way down to like 90k coins per. Just look at mutt.gg for the cheapest training value and try to snipe it a little bit cheaper than that. And basically what will happen with this investment is the demand for training will go up, meaning the prices of cards will go up, meaning that your investments will also go up, meaning you'll be able to sell off your cards and make coins. What you could also do is hold on to the cards and when once training goes up in value you could quick sell it and roll in easter eggs yourself but what i'm trying to do is i'm going to try to keep coins on my account and i don't know if easter eggs are the best way of going about it but sometimes they really are it's kind of more luck game by going and investing in easter eggs sometimes but like i said that's not really my bag either all that i know is that if you have cards on your account that go for the cheapest training value they'll have to rise up because people want to start buying training more so that they can get those easter eggs i hope in this video i was able to explain everything about making coins right now i don't really want to make tons of coin making method videos in the future but this is just a great way of making coins right now i hope you boys enjoyed and peace out